Hi, welcome to Upscale. This is going to be a short tutorial on how to get started. Upscale is an AI image enhancer and upscaler, which basically means that you can put in a low resolution image and get a really high resolution and crisp and sharp detailed image very easily with this program. To get started, you have a few options here. First, you see this batch upscale. Batch upscale is used to upscale multiple images all at once. So you can select a folder and set up an image and you can upscale all images at once. For this tutorial, I'm gonna select a single upscale. So let's select an image. Now that I've selected the image, I see the path here. The step two is to select an AI model. Upscale comes with a lot of different models that you can choose. You can also add your own custom models if you need. These models have different outputs depending on the type of image that you put in. For example, Upscale Standard is an all-in-one solution which is going to work for every single image. Upscale Lite is faster but worse in quality when it comes to upscaling. Similarly, we have Digital Art, which is great for vector images. The rest of the models are actually non-commercial, so you can use them if you want to for personal use. I'm going to select Upscale Standard here. That often works the best. Now you can also select Double Upscale. This basically means that instead of doing a 4x, you are going to do 4 into 4, which is 16x, and that is an option if you want it. But please be careful because this is going to slow down the performance by a huge margin. So you can select that and you can see we can upscale from a 200 pixel image to a whopping 3200 pixels, uh, which is crazy. Let's not do that for this video. Next, we have an image scale. You can set any scale that you want, 10x up to 16x. But I would advise you to keep it to 4x for the most part because that gets the best results as well as it doesn't degrade the performance. If you choose to do it 8x or anything over 6x, and it's going to hurt the performance. So let's keep this at 4x. Now we can select output folder, which is already selected and it defaults to the image path that we selected earlier. So it's going to output the image in the same folder. Then we can hit upscale and that's where the magic is. Now it's going to upscale the image and we're going to see our upscaled results. So as you can see from this to this in just a matter of seconds. Upscale is really powerful. And you can try different images and different sets of models to see what fits best for you. But all in all, this is a great solution if you want to upscale images really quickly and really easily. We also have a, a lens view here, so you can use that. As you can see, you can see the quality difference and it's massive. We also have a settings tab. Uh, in case you want to get help, these logs are going to be useful, so you can copy them. You can also set a theme here. Upscale comes with a lot of different themes. So you can select any that you like. It's very customizable. You can also change your language from here. We support these languages right now, but we're going to add more in the future. You can also select what format you want when you're saving the images. You can also set a custom output width, which means that the width, for example, it was 200 pixels. You can set it to maybe 1920 or something else. You can also add image compression in case you want lower size images. Then you can have save output folder. This basically means that whatever the output folder is, it's going to remember that for consecutive launches. So you can close up kill and open it back up to have the same output folder selected. Then we have override previous upscale. If you turn this off and hit upscale, it's not going to upscale again. It's going to use the same image that was there before. You can also add a GPU ID here. This is for advanced users. The guide for this is on our docs page. You can also set custom tile size, uh, which is also something that you can set if you want to. And finally, here's where you can add custom models. You can find the guide to it on our docs page. So that was a short tutorial on how to use upscale. I hope this helped. Thanks.